or some. <clears throat> to be or not. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? It's really not. <laughs> well, I'm on a stage acting because <laughs> I'm a staging site. Oh my God, do you even know what a staging site is? It's obviously not a website getting on a stage. How does a website even get on a stage? Right. I better get going. <laughs> I need some optimization anyways. <laughs> We all wish that a staging site is simply a website on a stage, but unfortunately, we all know it's much more complicated than that. But no worries, I'm here to help. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniela, a content creator here at one.com. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone managing a WordPress website, creating a staging site. Whether you're making significant changes, testing new features, or tweaking your design, a staging site lets you experiment without affecting your live website. So let's jump right in. As you probably know, creating a staging site can be a complex process, yet it is an important step in the creation or improvement of your website, as it allows you to test new elements and features prior to going live with your changes. But the big question is, how do you set up a staging site on WordPress? Well, there are three primary methods to set it up. Manually, using a plugin, or if you have a website one.com, opting for the managed WordPress add-on or upgrading your hosting plan. You could take the manual approach by creating a subdomain, copying all files from your live site to the staging environment, and following various other technical steps. It's a bit complicated, but some users prefer this method as it gives them more control. Alternatively, you can use plugins, which simplify the process and make it more user-friendly. This can still take a bit of time and effort as you also need to find the right plugin. Lastly, if you have a website with us, you can opt for the managed WordPress add-on or upgrade to an enthusiast or guru plan. These options all give you immediate access to the staging site feature, eliminating the need for manual or plugin-based setups. Trust me, this will save you a lot of time and headaches. With our built-in staging area, creating a staging site becomes incredibly simple. It automatically copies all your website files and databases, sparing you from having to handle everything manually. This is great for testing changes, updates, and more. So, if you decide to opt for the managed WordPress add-on with one.com or upgrade your plan, all you have to do to set up a staging site is head over to your WordPress dashboard. Then, from the left-hand menu, click on one.com, and then select Staging. Then you'll need to click on Create Staging Site. After your staging site is created, you'll need to log into Staging in order to make the changes you'd like to test. Once you're logged in to the staging site, you can go ahead and test the features or changes you'd like to try. If you're happy with the changes, you can head over to the Staging category again and select Copy Staging to Live. This will overwrite your live website with the changes you made on the staging site. Remember to double check all the links, especially if your changes are URL sensitive. This ensures that your SEO plugins and other critical components function smoothly. And there you have it. See how easy that was? Upgrading to the managed WordPress add-on or upgrading hosting plan with one.com can save you a lot of time and effort when creating a staging site. This is something extremely valuable as it allows you to focus on the important stuff rather than having to deal with technical issues. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.